So as you've seen from the beginning of the video, I'm working with copper today. I decided to go with copper pipe because it was just going to be cheaper than buying an actual copper sheet for this. And if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to make my first ever kumai with this stuff. I'm not sure how thick it is, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to be attempting my first kumai. And I'm going to be using a 1084 steel core, high carbon steel core, along with 15 and 20 on the sides and our copper. And uh, just for explanation, the copper pipe cost me $26. I got 10 feet of it for $26, $28 with taxes. And I can get three of these per foot. I can get 30 in total of these guys to make kumais, which isn't bad. So I can get my set of two for less than a dollar a piece. And that works out great versus buying a sheet and end up paying like around uh, 50 and up based on what I found online. So to me, this is the best bet. If you want to do that, it's just a little bit more work. You got to cut it, cut it in half, uh, pound it flat and clean it up. But other than that, it's well worth it. Don't forget to clean it up with acetone prior to setting it up. I've already cleaned it, so I'm good there. But always make sure to clean your pieces and grind them prior to welding it together to ensure a better weld. Just jumping in real quick to let you guys know, this pipe idea was not my idea. This is three quarter inch pipe. And I got the idea from another YouTuber, Jay Wilson. He gave me the idea of using the, the pipe. I'll have his channel in the pinned comment down below. Go show him some love and check out his videos. They're really good. So we're in the fire, got the bullet heating up. I hope my welds are good enough and I hope that it doesn't leak out, but we're gonna see. I doubt I have airtight welds. Oh well. Alright guys, so I cut off one of the edges and gave it a quick grind to see how this came out. I have a minor d lamb in this area right here. I'm not sure how bad that d lamb is. Uh, I had uh, spots where it was making little drips where it just didn't seal right when I welded it because I am not a professional welder. I cannot weld that well. But overall, the rest weld it pretty well so i'm gonna clean up the rest of the billet cut off the end clean up the sides and see how much material we got workable and see what kind of template or knife we can get out of it <laughs>
All right, guys, so we have it cleaned up. I sketched on a rough drawing of what I'm gonna make. I wanna incorporate as much as I can into the knife, but I also want it to be nice and sturdy. So since this piece is slightly under seven inches, I, can't, I don't really have much to work with blade wise, but I decided on a sheep's foot style knife. And that's what I'm gonna do. The main reason why I'm doing this knife right now, specifically, it doesn't really matter. I'm making, I'm, I'm experimenting because I want to be able to incorporate a Kumai into future knife builds that I have planned with Damascus and with Kumai and chef's knives because what I want to do is make chef's knives. And I want to have a variety of skills in which I can do Damascus, Sanmai, Kumai, and eventually stainless and whatnot. And I'll bring you guys along the way as I learn how to do that and grow this channel and on topic about that if you're not subscribed already i would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe it really helped me out a lot i'm on my march to 1000 subscribers and once i hit the 1000 subscriber mark i'm gonna make a knife and give it away to one of the thousand subscribers that helped me get there so be ready for that once we get closer i'll give out the details of how you can enter to win that and what we're going to be doing but i will be giving away a custom made knife once i hit a thousand and afterwards every every certain milestone i will be giving away something whether it's a knife or whatever whatever i can give away at that point on another note it's time to cut this guy out As you can see, I was able to make one successful hole, but the other ones seem too hard or I'm not sure what, but I'm gonna have to anneal the steel so I can drill these holes because I don't want to force the bit too much since it's such a tiny bit. like butter all right guys so the pins have been drilled through i made some extra holes just to make sure that i have plenty of space for the epoxy to get in and to lighten it up a little bit it's still pretty heavy because it's so thick but considering the fact that i didn't want to thin it down any more than i needed to just to make sure that i i get the pattern that i want next time once i do a different knife i will work it down a lot more but for the meantime this is as far as we're going and it's time to grind in the bevels and see how that copper comes out.
and we're out of the quench. This knife looks great straight out of the quench. And she's nice and hard. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. She, we have a nice hardened steel blade. And it's nice and straight as well. And we're going straight into the temper from here. Straight to the temper for this guy, and we'll see it once it's out. All right, guys, that's it for this part of the build. Thank you very much for watching and following along, and I'll see you on part two.